On this combo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a low line crocodile tail kick or a mid line crocodile tail kick, it doesn't matter. Bob's gonna just move back a couple inches. So the first row is just evasion. So if we both have the left foot in front, we're in the orthodox stance, we both have our hands up. I'm just gonna either randomly kick him with the back leg here or here. All Bob's gonna do right now is just take one step back. He can also kind of hollow his body out to defend against it. So I come at him, he's evading the force. Boom, this is a good opportunity for Bob to come in and kick, but we're not gonna do that drill for now. And then we come back. Now Bob's gonna take his back leg, he's gonna either kick my thigh, kick my stomach, all I'm gonna do is get out of his range. So Bob kicks, that's all you do. And then we go right leg, right leg's in front. I'm gonna do the same kick, Bob's just gonna shuffle back. He's out of my range, I'm gonna have to do something different. Bob does the back leg, he's aiming here, and I just move out of the way. So it's an easy defense. But you notice that when they move out of the way that you switch leads. So since I'm kicking, we'll go back to the left leg. If I kick and he moves back, now all of a sudden I became orthodox stance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow up on here, the circle in this case was going counterclockwise and I'm gonna continue that pattern. So I turn my head and shoulders, then I lift up the back leg and then I'm pushing Bob away. If I do it from the right leg, so we're both in the right lead now, the first one misses because he's moved back. So I spin my shoulders and head around, kind of adds a little bit of twist, and this is all happening at once. Then I lift my knee up, and then I stand and push through his leg. So then we'll do that a little bit faster. Let's go left lead again. So Bob's just gonna move out of the way, so let me kick him on that second one. So one, two, turn, kick, push. Then we do the right legs in front. He's gonna shuffle back just enough to miss as I extend out and push him. Then Bob will do it to me. So left leg in front. So first he's kicking here, I'm gonna move back. He continues to spin, and then he's just gonna make contact at the stomach, pushing me back. Then we're gonna go right legs in front. He's kicking here or here, I move out of the way. He continues to spin, he looks at the target, and then he pushes me back. So, facing forward, here's what it looks like. You do one kick, you either low, medium, or high, then you spin around, and then you look at the target as you kick. Same thing on the right side, you're here. One, the main thing is that shoulder spin and hits and needs to be there. And like I said, it's hard to do it slow, but you wanna make it practice enough to make it flow. You practice on a pad, practice on an opponent, they need to move back after that first one. 